Hello, everybody. It's time for three more fun facts about the Cleveland Indians. Hello, everybody. It's Joe Ditzel. Looking forward to Tuesday night. This is uh, the October 24th right now, early morning. It's 2.35 a.m. on Monday morning. So it'd be tomorrow night, game one of the 2016 World Series between the Cleveland Indians and the Chicago Cubs. Now, yesterday we did a video about the Chicago Cubs. Today we're going to do three more fun facts. The second video of that series about the Cleveland Indians. So let's get to it. Now, the Indians first played as a ball club in 1894 in Grand Rapids, Michigan, as the Grand Rapids Rustlers. When they moved to Cleveland in 1900, they changed the name to the Cleveland Lakeshores. This name didn't necessarily go over real well with some of the local fans. Yeah, sure. Sure. Why not? Why not? The Lakeshores. Okay, great. Great. Yeah. Very, very threatening, right? Uh, you couldn't think of any other name other than Lakeshores. Hey, if we're just going to go geographically wise, why not just call them the Cleveland Creek Beds, right? Just as threatening as Lakeshores. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Hey, why not? How about this? How about this? The Cleveland Cuyahoga River Riverbanks. No, of course not. When the uh, Indians were the Grand Rapids Rustlers, some newspapers called them the Rustlers. Some called them the Rippers. And one of their opponents at the time was the Kansas City Blues, which some newspapers called the Blues, and other newspapers called the Kansas City Cowboys. What was with sports reporters in the late 1800s and early 1900s? Did they just make up names, whatever names they wanted to for the teams? One reporter of the day said, Heck yeah, we just made up names. We just put them in the paper and hope for the best. I mean... One time, for a long stretch, I was calling the Yankees the overpaids. Get it? The overpaids. In Boston, they were known as the Braves. I called them the Beans. The Boston Beans. And man, did they stink sometimes. Get it? In Philadelphia, oh my lord, the athletics, the Philadelphia athletics. I called them the waiting room before retirements. And it's a good thing they didn't go with that name because they wouldn't be able to fit it on the jersey. <laughs> Now, the Indians were one of eight charter franchises of the original American League that was formed in 1901. The other teams were the Baltimore Orioles, Chicago White Stockings, Detroit Tigers, Washington Senators, Milwaukee Brewers, Philadelphia Athletics, and the Boston Braves. Cleveland was number eight. A league official said that they looked at bids from several cities and rejected them. One of the most controversial was a bid by Akron, Ohio, which was rejected. A league official of the era explained it at the time. Oh, we had to reject Akron. Akron, Ohio. Yeah, we had to reject their bid. They wanted to put in bowling alleys in their stadium so fans could bowl during the baseball game. And we had to reject that because the sound of the balls rolling down the lanes is just thunderous. And then the crashing of the pins, the cacophony would be too much. It would distract the pitchers and batters playing the game. It would distract the teams on the field. Now, we gave it careful consideration because Akron said, if we put bowling alleys in the stadium in Akron, the whole city will come out, sell out every game. They guaranteed a sellout at every game uh but it was just too much the sound and then every fan carrying their own bowling ball to every games i mean after a few beers those could be used as weapons so we had to reject akron ohio folks those have been three more fun facts about the cleveland indians this 2016 world series should prove to be a barn burner. I'm really looking forward to it. That's all I have for now. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.